What is happening everyone? Welcome to an extremely exciting video. You may be looking at this complete mess on the floor and thinking, Tom, weren't you meant to be clearing out your stuff? And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing, guys. The room is meant to be all tidy and clear, but everything is somewhat organized, I promise. One thing that I have done is pretty much tidied a workbench to do the Powerhack G4 project. I know there's a bit of mess here, but this is only temporary. Um, this is all literally space to do the Powerhack stuff, and this is the stuff that I'm using for the case. But anyway, this video has nothing to do with that. This video is to do with this cupboard up here, and uh, after I roll the intro, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about this cupboard and exactly what is happening with all of this stuff. So for the longest time, I've had a massive haul of retro gaming stuff just crammed into, into this cupboard. As you guys can hopefully see, there is still some stuff remaining up there, but it's mainly old junk that is worth nothing. There is actually an old manual in the distance of how to build a computer, which was a manual that my dad and I bought years before I built my first computer, around in 2007, I think. So that is really cool. Bit of history up there. There's also some old school books that bring back memories, along with a box of old crap that I haven't even dug into yet because I know it's going to be memory lane. But also in there, um, gathering dust and getting a little bit damp because it's a bit of a damp cupboard, there was all of this retro gaming stuff. Now, as you guys know, I have recently sold quite a bit of retro gaming stuff, but I've still got so much left. So that is very, very exciting, guys. I've also got a couple of things upstairs. In fact, I've got quite a lot of things upstairs. So um, this is definitely not all of it, but this is probably about half, maybe two thirds of my remaining retro gaming stock. Now, a lot of you guys may not know this, but if you look at my older videos, I do a lot of videos where I sort of find good deals on consoles and test them out and stuff. Basically, that's how I used to earn a lot of my money back in the day, was buying and selling retro gaming systems. And uh, it's also how I made a lot of my videos as well because I'd get new systems in to test out and stuff which made good content and then I'd sell the stuff at a profit which allowed uh, gave me money to do sort of the computer projects so I was killing multiple birds with one stone but I haven't been able to do that for the past couple of years because the stock kind of got out of hand and I got out of the habit of selling stuff on eBay um, so what I want to do is get rid of all of this stuff and start it up again on a smaller scale maybe shift the odd console here and there as I find them locally um, I don't have much time to do it anymore, but as you guys know, I need to desperately raise funds and I also need to clear out as much stuff as possible so I am, you know, more future-proof in terms of being able to move myself if uh, the option to move does come up. So I can't have all this stuff hanging around. So as you guys can see, there's a massive haul here and I'm going to take a little look because I'm not even sure what's here myself. This is why I had the inspiration to pull it out today. Um, we're basically going to go through everything and take a look. Now it's going to be horrendous camera work guys, I'm really sorry, but you know, just put this down to uh, a classic IMNC video full of retro gaming goodness. So starting in a pile over here guys, we have got a few things. We've got a little racing wheel, which is quite cheap and crappy for the Nintendo GameCube I believe it is. Um, it's probably not worth anything, but I really don't want it so I need to shift it. Um, I've also got some manuals here, some Commodore manuals, random cabling, I don't know what any of it is. Um, we have a Master System controller. Loads of ran random cabling. We have a Game Gear. This is not the Game Gear that I originally showcased on the channel. This is another Game Gear that I've never tested, so I don't know if it works. Um, so I'll have to find some batteries and or an AC adapter to test this out. But right off the bat, I can tell you that a couple of the buttons are stuck down, so that has um, seen better days, definitely. So coming over here, we have this nice little computer section. Here we have a Commodore Plus 4. I honestly thought I had a, a ZX Spectrum up there, um, but it looks like I sold that a while ago. It was a 128 model, I believe. Um, I've also got an Acorn Electron upstairs, and I do think I've got a couple more um, old computers like this upstairs. I've also got a tape deck, which is essential for all of this uh, cassette software that I have. So I've got things from office programs to games. I've got quite a variety of a few different things. I'm not sure how good all this stuff is going to load and work, um, but because of a lot of this stuff is kind of damp-ish, it's not wet or anything, guys, it's just a bit damp, I am actually going to borrow my parents' dehumidifier and leave it in this room um, for a couple of nights so that it sucks all the moisture out of this stuff. I'm not putting it back in the cupboard. The plan is to sell off as much of this as I can in the next two weeks. So hopefully I'll make a start uh, day after tomorrow or something. 
So like I said, a lot of software for the Commodore. Because this is a lot of separate little bits, the Commodore is definitely something that I would first like to see go. Um, I just hope that I've got all the original power stuff for it. I believe this is a third party joystick for the Commodore. And I believe the power cable for the system and the power brick is in this carrier bag. There is some kind of power brick in here, so I hope that is it. Um, I do get kind of confused with these older uh, Commodore systems um, because I've had multiple ones and I've also sold wrong accessories with previous ones as well, um, which is pretty shameful. But yeah, hopefully I can get all that sorted. Of course, dotted about the place, I have all sorts of Commodore accessories. Um, and also, uh, here we are, Commodore 16 and Plus 4. I've also got a couple of these cartridges knocking about. So these are actual games and stuff. And of course I've got the manual and stuff down there, so that should be a, quite a nice bundle. If I can get that tested um, so that I know that it works, that would be really great. See a couple of these cartridges over here. So yeah, that's a nice little bit. Coming over, I have a boxed Dreamcast controller, which I'm gonna put up on its own. I'm surprised actually I don't have any other Dreamcast stuff. I have my console and my game collection, but that's about it. Um, as far as other gaming things that I have, I do have some more in the actual wardrobe, but I won't be tackling that until all of this is gone. I was worried about selling console bundles or selling a bundle like this and having remaining software in a different location, but that is a bridge that I must cross when I come to it because I don't have the space to clear out everything at the same time. So here we have a Dreamcast controller. We have a boxed GameCube controller. This is not any controller. This is one with a see-through bottom or see-through back. So this is a very cool GameCube controller. Controller. Even though I am a GameCube collector of some sort, um, actually no, I wouldn't call myself a GameCube collector. I'm more, you know, stick with a couple of cool GameCube things that I personally enjoy then. I would like to own this controller, but my GameCube um, colour scheme is primarily black. The, I use the Game Boy player and the black console and a couple of black controllers. So uh, having this would be out of place. And I also don't like keeping boxed stuff for myself because I feel that it's a waste because it's worth more and uh, I don't care for the boxes. In fact, well, I love the boxes, but I don't want to collect them. Uh, over here we have a couple of N64 games, that is FIFA and GoldenEye, along with a boxed N64 game and uh, a boxed Golf Super Nintendo game. I've had these for a long time. Um, I don't think they're particularly worth anything, but N64 stuff and Super Nintendo stuff is right up there in terms of value at the moment, guys. So if you have any of it to sell, then I recommend doing so now because you'll get a lot of money for it. A um, couple of N64 carts there, of course. Um, I collect for the N64, it's my favourite console, um, but the FIFA is uh, is not something of interest to me and I already have GoldenEye of course, so I could bundle that with one of the consoles that I have to sell. Um, moving this stuff over, having a look over here guys, we've got a various um, few things. We have an original Master System Model 1, which is quite cool to see. We have a little third party wireless PS2 controller receiver thing, a couple of cassette cover things. We have a Game Boy game, uh, that is Buffy actually. We have a couple of cables, this looks like a Sega power adapter along with a Sega antenna cable maybe, I'm not too sure. We also have a stack of Sega Master System games, all good games by the looks of it from here, and also a stack of um, other games. These are, what console are these? These are for a specific, uh, yeah, these are Game Gear games. So I actually do have a few Game Gear games to go with the Game Gear, which is quite cool. There's another one of those Commodore cartridges. Yeah, these are all Game Gear games. Did not know I had those, which is pretty cool. Um, so that is it for that little section there, guys. As you can see, lots of little miscellaneous bits that take up space. Um, up here, I just put it out, up here out of the way. Here we have a um, video sport sort of Pong machine, original old boxed Pong machine. I've got two of these. I've got one here, and I've got one over there. It's that green thing on the bed there. Um, that one on the bed doesn't work because I accidentally blew it up in a little video that I was trying to do a couple of weeks ago. So I'm very sad about that. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Um, we covered the Master System. Let's go down here then. This little box is full of goodness. This has two original Game Boys. The original colour Game Boy, even though... Uh, colour Game Boy. The original Game Boy that is not colour. Um, it's a bit yellowed. And also we have the original Game Boy, but the yellow edition. Along with, guys, strangely enough, no boxes, but tons of manuals and loads and loads of games. We have a Game Boy magnifier. Uh, power adapter, loads of Game Boy stuff in there, which is really cool. And putting those back, we also have this, which is a Game Boy case, um, carry hard carry case for your Game Boy, 
which has loads of game manuals in it also, along with um, a power adapter and a Game Boy magnifier and stuff like that. So that is really cool. I'll probably put that with the, um, the original Game Boy when I sell it, or maybe just put them separately, I'm not too sure. Uh, moving a few of these other boxes out of the way for now, let's take a little look around here. Here I have two sets of DK bongos. They're slightly different. These are the bongos only. Um, I've got a couple of boxed versions of these. I know I've got a few upstairs and I've also got a couple of unboxed bongos upstairs. Uh, I believe I have five sets in total. And here we have um, the version that came with Donkey Konga. Not sure if the game is in here. Um, and these aren't the jungle beat. Th these aren't the jungle beat bongos either. These. This is the Donkey Konga. You know, sort of pre-Guitar Hero type game mechanics. Um, so yeah, I've got two boxed bongos to sell, which is really cool. They're not really worth much. I think they're worth about a tenner, but still cool. And they're quite big things to shift out of the way. So that'll be cool. Coming down, I have even more Master System games, as you can see, all boxed Master System games. We have a couple with ripped off covers, but they still have the games inside. Probably yes. There we go. Um, Master System is something that I have a lot of for some reason, I'm not sure why, um, but they were just very easy to find at one point. So I've got loads of different Master System games, and there's also something in a, I'll put that down there because I've messed that up, there's something in a Tesco carrier bag here, but it feels like Master System controllers and cables. So I assume it's the controllers and cables for this console, which would be awesome because I can sell it as a complete bundle with loads of games. Because I have got some doublers of games. Um, I've got two Sonic 2s and two Sonics. I actually got three Sonic 2s. Um, but yeah, I know I've got more Master, Master System games upstairs as well. Um, coming over to this box, in here we have what looks to be a few controllers. Okay, so let me move this stuff out of the way. Everything is kind of mismatched, guys. We have a Mega Drive controller. I was shocked to see, um, actually, no, there are a couple of Mega Drives, I stand corrected. I was gonna say there are no Mega Drives. I've sold a lot of Mega Drive bundles in the past, guys. We've got two official Mega Drive controllers, which is nice. Um, N64 power brick and a V cable, along with, what else do we have? Another N64 power brick, along with uh, Michael Jackson Moonwalker, which is quite um, quite a rare game for the Mega Drive. Goes for a lot of money boxed, or at least it used to. So uh, I need to keep hold of that. Um, in here we also have a PS2 controller, oddly enough. I don't normally uh, deal uh, PS2 stuff. Master System controller, I've got a load of those now. Uh, another Master System controller, various antenna cables, and also a green N64 controller, which feels to have a very nice and firm analog stick. Did not know I had this. I'm gonna put this to one side and uh, take it down my girlfriend's house, because that's where my N64 is, and that's where um, we all play it, because the N64 is pretty much the only retro console that I still play on a regular basis, because it's my favorite system. I actually play it quite a lot, um, a comparable amount to my Wii U, um, but then close up in line, well, not close up maybe, I knock out the Dreamcast about once every three months, and also the game Cube about once every three months, uh, depending. Some years the GameCube is very popular with me. I know when I played through Resident Evil Remake last year, I was on the GameCube nearly every day. Um, it all changes, as you guys may know. Let's take a look at this box. This looks to be very exciting, guys, and looks to be primarily a Sega looking box. Um, so let's see what we have. We have a Mega Drive 2, which is a very nice designed console, in my opinion. I prefer it to the look of the Mega Drive 1. Speaking of Mega Drive 1, we have one Mega Drive 1 right here and by the looks of it we have another Mega Drive one so I can definitely put together a couple of uh, console only bundles but tested hopefully if I have the correct equipment here we have a Master System 2 which is cool um, they don't go for as much money as you'd think in this country we have a zapper gun for probably the Mega Drive but they're tricky to sell on eBay. We have a power adapter for one of these Sega consoles, thank God. I've got, uh, I know for a fact I've got less power adapters than consoles, guys, which is a bit of a shame. We have an N64 hiding here. I always do the quick check. Nope, no expansion pack in that one. Um, but regardless, N64 consoles are really on the rise at the moment. Um, I feel a bit iffy about selling these because it's my favorite console, but yeah. Let's put that to one side because we have this thing here I do not know what this is. Let me try and open it up here without cutting. Ah, in here, guys, we have a Game Boy Color, 
which is cool, the Atomic Purple Game Boy Color. Not sure how much they fetch, but it's definitely cool to see that I have one of those. So that's awesome. I will tidy all this back up after making the video, guys. This uh, this Master System 2 has got a little bit of uh, Tipex and stuff on it. That has seen better days. But yeah, let's put those there for a second, move those out the way. Um, coming over to this little box, let's see what we've got in here. In here we have an Amiga 520 game, all boxed, original poster and everything, so I know that's there um, that I need to sell on its own. We have a boxed Super Nintendo game, along with what looks to be quite a few cool things in here, guys. Wow, okay, let's take a little look. We have another boxed Super Nintendo game, I'll sell all these individually. Another box N60, uh, Super Nintendo game. Unfortunately, a few sports titles popping up around my collection here, guys. Um, we have that Xbox remote that I got a while ago by accident. So, yeah, I can't really do much with that. And left in here, we have what looks to be a Game Boy player. I don't have a software disc for that, unfortunately. We have an N64. Let's see if this has the expansion pack. Nope, that is just the jumper pack in there. And two Super Nintendos, obviously. That one's sun yellowed on the top. This one looks great on the top, actually. This one looks great overall, considering. Just a little bit of yellowing on the sides and stuff. So yeah, and uh, an NES there. I know I've got another NES tucked away in my wardrobe. I've got two of those all together. Sorry guys, my uh, kneeling down legs were absolutely dying. So um, let's check out this box of stuff. This looks to be mainly games, but definitely um, a good thing to have because we have some Nintendo titles in here. This is an NTSC Super Nintendo game. Don't know why I have this, but I don't think it'll be of any value to me, but of course I'll try and sell everything. One cool thing about the NTSC games was they, they had labels on the top, so if the games were stacked like this, you could tell what game it was, which is cool. We have quite a few um, regular Super Nintendo games, so that's cool. They're not worth loads of, actually yeah, they're worth quite a bit as far as retro gaming goes, but they're all not the best titles going. Um, they could be better, but they could be a lot worse actually. And as you can see, quite a few of them have uh, yellowed a little bit, which is a shame. Um, but of course, they have been in the cupboard for a little while. Um, we have Killer Instinct here, which is always nice because it's a black cart. And these are separate from my own Super Nintendo games. I don't collect Super Nintendo at all, guys, but I do like to keep game games back because I am a little bit of a Nintendo fanboy. Um, here we have another NTSC game. Don't know where I got those. Um, this is cool, guys, and a complete shocker. I did not know I had these. We have Gold Cart, um, Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, which is cool, guys, because... Uh, yeah, really did not know I had those two hanging around. They will become part of my collection, I believe, because it's getting harder and harder to find N64 games, and even though I'm not a massive Zelda fan, I don't currently have them in my collection, so they're just something that needs to be there. Turok Two Seeds of Evil I can happily sell, um, because I already have a copy of this. Brilliant game, by the way, guys. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I am actually looking for a copy of Turok Three, so if anyone's got a double of Turok Three, then I'll be happy to swap um, something, but... Uh, you probably haven't because Turok 3 is fairly rare. Um, anyway, moving along guys, there seems to be quite a few different things in here. Here we have a Super Nintendo Game Genie, which is really cool. This will be uh, a specific version, I suppose. And also, oh hang on a sec, it's not a Super Nintendo, it's a Mega Drive Game Genie. Sorry guys, it says right down there. I was under the assumption that it was for... Uh, for Super Nintendo for some reason. Um, but yeah, there's that, along with another copy of uh, Michael Jackson Moonwalker. Can't be that rare if I've got two, <laughs> and they're both unboxed anyway. Um, also, we have hiding in there another Super Nintendo cart, but it's got writing on it. It's quite a few, few things packed into this box, guys. We have a few PlayStation 1 games. This is not my original childhood PlayStation 1 collection. These are random ones that I've picked up along the way. Really not sure um, on the worth of PlayStation 1 games. At a time, you could buy about 50 for a pound, so I'm not holding my breath. But this is where we start to get into the uh, Mega Drive terrain. I do have quite a few Mega Drive games. These are all Mega Drive games uh, in this box, which is handy. Um, you know, things like the original Sonic, you know, sort of system sellers, really. So they'll be handy to sell at least one of those Mega Drives that I have. Oh, and check that out! Michael Jackson's Moonwalker again, but boxed. 
And this looks to be for the Master System, is it? Yeah, this is a Master System version, so that's interesting, guys. Um, I was under the assumption that this game was rare-ish, but it may not be, considering I've got a load of copies. Um, yeah, so these are actually more Master System games again. Wish I had a few more Mega Drive games to sell with the systems, but I do have a few. Aladdin, that's a very good game. Um, and then down here, I simply have more PlayStation games. Um, I thought this may be my collection, because I don't know where that's gone, but no, my games are separated from all of these. My games are not in that cupboard. Millionaire, Bug's Life, quite a few common uh, Dukes of Hazard. Quite a few common PlayStation games here, guys, but I may be able to do something with them. Micro Machines, awesome game. I had it on the computer in the N64. Um, yeah, a few things here. I had this one back in the day, but that's not my copy. Uh, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, awesome. Not my copy, I don't think, but had it back in the day. Mm, Colin McRae Rally, some of these may be my games. I hope they haven't got mixed up. Um, no, I think it's just a coincidence. But yeah, that is pretty much it, other than, guys, a little hidden gem in this box, and that is four Sega Saturn games. So here we have Sega Saturn game number one, number two, number three, and of course, to finish it off, Sega Rally is number four. These were very odd cases at the time. Um, so that pretty much concludes the last box, guys. But as you can see, nice uh, little selection of software for, uh, for these systems. So everyone, as I'm sure you can tell, I have got quite a bit of gaming stuff hanging around. Um, it's definitely cool to take a little look through it, and there may be a very similar video to this one coming up where I dig into the bottom part of the wardrobe, where I know there's a lot of gaming stuff, and also upstairs where there's a random amount of gaming stuff scattered around. Um, so between these boxes, I've actually got quite a lot of money's worth of stuff here at the moment, I suspect. Um, so that is really cool, and I'm so pleased with that. I've also find an, found a nice firm analog stick N64 controller, which is always a plus and uh, a very good thing. So I'm pleased with all of that overall, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's been no real um, topic to this video, but I thought I'd show you around some of the stuff that I may be testing in future videos very soon um, after I let all this stuff dry out a little bit. You know, not dry out because it's wet, but dry out just because it's been in a damp environment. Um, so yeah, so I'll be testing a few of these in some videos, um, ready to shift them on. I know a certain few things I lack power and AV for, like primarily I'm looking at these three Nintendo consoles here, so they might have to go untested console only, although I can test, oh, I can test them all actually because I've got, um, yeah, I've got the required cables for my own versions of the consoles, um, but digging those out might be more hassle than uh, it's worth. I may do a bundle with a lot of this different stuff, just included in like a multi-bundle. Depends how much time I get to list stuff, but it is important to keep an eye on my eBay, guys. I do sell stuff from time to time, not as much as I say I do. Um, I do try and sell a lot more, but I will be uh, I will be more active because I really do need to clear out now. So expect maybe another one of these types of videos coming in maybe the close future, um, but give it a couple of months for me to shift this lot. And if you're interested in anything guys I would much rather you talk to me through eBay and uh, and purchase through eBay but I have had successful purchases through YouTube if people just with no hassle send me money through PayPal and also money to cover postage after we agree a price and then I can just send it off um, after you provide your address you know that's uh, that's absolutely fine by me but anyway rambling aside guys I'm sorry for the dodgy camera work in this video it has been nothing short of atrocious what with my shaky camera work and also the focusing but um, yeah I've always been a little bit of the same so I hope you've enjoyed it's been um, quite a memory lane looking across all this stock but I'm not nostalgically attached to any of this stuff because all of my consoles are safely put away somewhere else this is all just stuff that I've bought to sell on. So, hope you've enjoyed looking around my gaming stuff, and of course, I will see you in the next video. Yeah.